Did you know, for us, God, in his word, called and designed us to have someone personally, face-to-face, meet and teach us the habits, the way of life, of being highly useful to God. And, and it's right in the scriptures. Look, look in your Bibles. It says in, in verse 19, go therefore and make disciples. That's leading them to Christ. And, and a person who is led to Christ is a learner of Christ, a disciple. And then baptize them in the name. Have them profess in verse 19 that they believe in the name, the, the triune God, singular name, but he is a father, a son, and a Holy Spirit. And after they're really genuinely born again, verse 20, teach them. So discipleship, we could say, is biblical. And today, as we look at our Great Commission call to go and make disciples, we're using the very same textbook. Where did we find this Great Commission call? It's the very same textbook the church has always used, the Bible. Now, I want you to think about that with me for a minute, because we're using the actual original syllabus God gave. It's the very same materials Christ Church has always had and always used. From the beginning, the church overspread the world using this very same tool you and I are holding, the Bible, God's Word. And I want you to think about what we have in the Bible. The Bible is amazingly clear. It's the plan God left. It's not like we have to go have a retreat somewhere and figure out a new version of what we're going to do this year. God left an amazingly clear plan that we all have the very same one in his word. And it's the only guidebook that's packed with divine power. You know, I got a little uh, thing, you know, you can write on the glass top of your electronic device with another device, and it's trying to mimic a pen. You know, it's a stylus deal. And, and I got it, and I thought, oh, man, this thing's so small. How will I ever find a battery that size? And as I finished opening the package, little mini, mini, winny battery that went right in that thing. It was just right. And in the package was the power source. In the package, the power, God says, if you use my word, it comes packed with the power to make it work. You don't have to make it work. See, I don't have to drum up the power to see people's lives change. And I don't have to exhaust myself trying to change people. God says, the guidebook, his word, the Bible, comes packed with the power source that does it. By the way, no other book in my library other than the Bible has the power source inside the actual words of the book. That's why the Bible is not like anything else that you and I touch. This is the very power of God unto salvation to all who believe. It's also a perfect resource. It's been tested throughout the world. You know, you, you, you can travel somewhere, and our phones, if they're not GSM, don't work you know, in the GSM zones because we're whatever we are over here. And, and, and you can have your little cord to plug in the wall, but you look, and if you're in Great Britain, you know, it has a configuration. If you're on the continent, it has a different one. If you're in the, the Orient, it's different. It looks like the continent of Europe, but they've changed the, the way their prongs go in. And everything is different, and it doesn't, it's 220, and, and, and we have 110, and it just doesn't work. Did you know that the Bible is a perfect resource? It's been tested throughout the world. It works in every generation, every geographic setting. It's always worked perfectly. Now, think about the power of God to do something that, notice back to verse 19. As soon as they get saved, verse 20, they're supposed to be taught. Discipleship is basic. It's just, it's supposed to be saved, baptized, taught. And That's just a simple plan. But think about that. Because with the discipleship plan written out and ready to go, right in the Word of God, it seems that many are not focusing on using it. In fact, to some, their life as a believer becomes a bewildering and confusing search for something else. They're just looking for the newest or the latest or the most popular spiritual idea or whatever is just trending right now or book or program. And it often seems like everybody is chasing after a different plan or a newer program. 
And that's kind of where the church is in the 21st century. In fact, some Christians are actually exhausted. They're just trying to keep up with each new emphasis. And, and you know, they've started all of them, and they're just trying to keep them all going. It's like plates on, on poles that they have to run around. And their Christian life is, at this seminar, they heard that, and they're just twisting the poles to keep the plates all spinning. And they're bewildered that there's so many different poles and plates and things to do. And that's not what Jesus left us to do. We're not left to chase the newest Christian idea trending through Twitter, posted online, and shared on Facebook. Instead, every new generation is called to go back to the Scripture. Called to go back and see what verse 20 says. Teaching them to observe what? All things I commanded you. It, it has to be what Jesus said is to be taught. 